Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through object-oriented testing methods. That is nothing but OO testing methods. These are this is one of the most interesting question which is asked by your examiner, guys. So in most of the papers, you will be observing this question. Okay. So basically, when we are writing coding, when we use the normal structural methods, you can do normal testing, guys. So till now, we discussed multiple testing strategies, right? So you can use any one of them or you can use multiple of them. But when you are doing with with the help of object oriented concepts like inheritance objects, classes, and all those things, like most of the projects will be done with the help of these object oriented concepts only. So all these programs or all these projects should follow the object oriented testing models only. Okay. So when we write or when we wrote a code or design in the conventional method like structured way, so we use the software testing. So if the code or program or design uses object oriented concepts like a class encapsulation object interface etc then we will be going for oo testing guys okay guys i also didn't find that much theory about this topic so i'll be introducing you about multiple concepts guys that's it okay so the first method that they will be following is fault based testing so basically here designing test cases that have high probability of detecting higher number of errors so depends on the tester completely so good results with less effort it minimizes or minimizes the incorrect specifications and interactions among the subsystems okay so fault based testing is nothing but so we give some test cases and we expect a high probability return guys the high probability return is for finding an error or detecting an error right so i hope everyone got some basic idea about fault based testing right so now let us go through scenario based testing to solve about two misses so missing we are what are missing guys incorrect specifications if there are any incorrect specifications we will be missing them and interaction among subsystems so these two are the missing concepts in this fault based testing so to solve these two problems we are coming with scenario based to solve the about two misses we will be going for scenario based so it concentrates on what the user does not what the product does so basically from the name itself we can say scenarios so we discussed about use case diagram right so use case diagram comes under scenario based diagram guys okay so in that also we'll be discussing about what are the actions which are performed by the user or the client we can say right so that is what here the scenario based testing will also consider so this means capturing the tasks via use cases that use that user has to be performed so this is what i told you just now right yes so let us continue so the third step that they will be following is nothing but class testing based on method testing okay simple approach to test a class each module in it can be tested using unit testing so basically the same process that we use guys so initially you will be testing them with unit testing and after that you will be combining them and slowly you will be moving on to the other testing so therefore all the methods of the classes can be invoked at least once at the testing of the class okay okay so the next type will be your random testing so basically you will be selecting some random cases or random variables and everything and we will be testing so it supports it supported by the behavior sorry it is supported by the developer a random test sequence that tries to that tries the minimum vicinity of the operations typically to observe the behavior of behavior by categories guys so basically the developer will be giving multiple test cases among which randomly we will be selecting one and we will be pushing it and we will be expecting the output to be correct okay so the next type is nothing but partial testing okay so here we will be testing the thing the methodology or the characteristics or categorizes the input and output of the category so as we check check them surveyly okay okay similarly inner class testing can can be designed so we can even do for inner class designing also guys i did not find that much notes about this concept okay so if you are having any kind of references for this please share in the comment section or please let me know guys okay so that we can cover it in in our examination okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so but till now we have completely done with the testing guys so initially we discussed about software assessment software quality assessment that is nothing but sqa after that we went to testing and now we will be moving on to product metrics as well so we'll be discussing about different different matrices by which you will be representing multiple things okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching